All right, we've just done Johnson Canyon, and now we're heading to Abraham Lake. Good stuff. Okay, job. <laughs> Something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop, children What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Being wrong, and nobody's right if everybody's wrong. The young people speak in their minds, are getting so much resistance from behind. The time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Field day for the heat. A thousand people in the street singing songs and they carry signs. Mostly say hooray for our side. It's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going. We got Laura, we've, we've made it, we've set up the bed, we've got the propane heater going, this is good stuff. We haven't had the most successful afternoon, our tyre blew out and we had to limp home back to Lake Louise. We've got our gas burner going, and we're a little sketched out about how much gas is going on in here, but we turn the gas off before we go to sleep, I think, every night, because we don't need to have a heater on while we're sleeping. Yeah, we've got solar going. Um, yeah, it's, it seems to be all right. First meal in the van. There was spaghetti stir fry. I mean, mince stir fry <laughs> with some random shit. Oh, we didn't put the carrot in. Oh, uh, that's all right. But it was sort of, uh, it was looking quite cool. It was looking quite cool. Do we really want to put those in? Yeah, why not? Udon noodles. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that'd be great. Be oh, I don't know Here we are. We've got our first meal in. We're not going to make much film or do any video because we're tired and we're a little bit pissed off. But Al and I were pretty happy. We're camping in the snow. All right, we've got the van. We're in uh, Lake Louise, as we've said. We've had a bit of a blowout with one of the tires, so we parked up in this parking spot that we found on I Overlander, pretty much just outside of um, some hotels. We got our wee uh, gas heater going, but we woke up this morning and no shit. I'm just gonna bloody show you because you won't believe me how it was. It was fucking freezing. We really underestimated the temperatures up here in Canada. And I'll show you what it's like out here. Oh shit. So it's, you can't really see it too well, but um, yeah, we are full snow. We've woken up to a bloody, a bit of snow coming down. Obviously, all of this was already here, but the wee queenie, she's uh, she's taken a bit of damage. We've we've really uh, probably yeah, we've um, we need to get her back to Bowen Island so we can uh, fucking get some bits fixed up on it. Really, the whole mission was to come pick it up and then come pick it up and then get it back to Bowen. But we sort of went on a mission last night and. Um, we're about three quarters of the way to this lake and one of the tires fucking blew out. And I don't know if it's just popped off the bead or what's happened, but let's have a look. Yeah, you can see that one's that one's the one in question. It's actually popped off the bead, so. Alright, 
we've made it back to Golden from, we've had a bit of a hell of a morning. We've had a hell of a morning. We've, uh, Laura, can you help me explain what have we been up to? We stayed the night in Lake Louise. Froze in the night. Froze in the night because we don't know what we're up to. And it's literally, it was minus 10 when we woke up and it was snowing. We uh, then tried to find a mechanic that shut down um, because both the back inside tyres on the dual wheels had uh, just gone dead flat. So anyway, we managed to find a guy who had an ear compressor, so we pumped the two outside tyres up, and then I snapped his ear compressor fitting um, and told him, and he was all good about it. We went to the petrol station and then pumped the tyres up a little bit more, and now we drove to Golden. And we're in Golden. We found a guy. We found a whole lot of tyre shops. We went to the first tyre shop. Basically, 700 bucks. He's going to fix the back tyres for us, put new valves in, and he's going to also... Um, Put two new front tyres on for us because those ones are stuffed, which was probably a good idea. We should have done that earlier. Probably should have done this at the start. And um, yeah, and now we're gonna we gotta go there at two o'clock. So we're going to buy a couple of things for the van, can opener, and a bit of pasta and things like that. And hopefully we'll be okay. And then we're driving a rabbit stock. <laughs> and now we're getting a little couple of things for the van. Is there any hand sanding? Probably not. We still haven't found that in like no well so we're getting new ones of these today and hopefully he's going to fix the back tires for us and they're not absolutely written off which will be great if he can so we're just sitting outside the tire shop and he's going to come out soon and give us a hand we're going to take a walk down to the supermarket and get a couple of things and we're heading to revelstoke him and revelstoke this afternoon after he's done and then we're going to hopefully go to Tappan, where Rust Valley Restorers is located, and then after that we're going to mosey on back to Vancouver, back to Bowen Island. So we're getting things done, we're slowly working out the kinks of the van. I will say she is an absolute fuel guzzler. We're literally getting 30 litres to 100 kilometres, it's fucking pretty bad actually to be honest. Um, didn't think it would be that bad, but it is. So what can I do? Not sure yet. We've got to fix a few problems on it, give it a tune up, put a cup put a new set of headers on the exhaust, maybe yeah, do a few things like that and might get a bit more fuel economy out of it. But luckily fuel's fuel's dropped down to 99 cents a litre litre here. Well that was in Alberta actually where we last filled up but in Lake Louise, but I think it's about dollar thirteen here in um uh, Golden, so it's only really costing us. 55 bucks to fill up a tank but we're only getting something like 200 k's out of a tank so it's fucking terrible to be quite honest um i'm gonna build a box that pretty much sits up to about this height and i'm literally just gonna fill it with fucking fuel tanks <laughs> i think tires on here Oh yes, it looks good. And oh, Firestones as well. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm happy about that. We got old Queenie running and, uh, on the highway. It actually feels a lot better now that we've got pumped up tyres. And we're heading to Rebel Stoke and uh, have a look at this bloody scenery, would you? Shit, it's we can't hear me over that sound. Well, that sounds exhausting, which we've got to fix next week. We're daily at the moment. We're using up our stocks, and we're nearly out. Canada tyre. Canada, Canadian tyre. Canadian tyre, It's basically got everything from parts for your vehicle, RV stuff at the moment we're trying to find a a dump fucking pipe for a fucking chemical toilet um, so we're gonna work out what we need and it's got everything it's huge oh yeah sweet as you can see she's uh sorry mate uh just the store me. Yeah, <laughs> I was just amazed by the store. Oh, could do. 
do you need any screws or anything for the I wooden found heaps, box? I found heaps in that shed, so I'll use them. Right, so I've bought this stuff here and I'm um, going to try and fix this exhaust manifold leak with this. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Sort of a, uh, well, there it is right there, steel reinforced epoxy putty. We'll give it a go and um, if it doesn't work, well, well, at least we tried. Alright, here is the mighty engine. And here, I won't touch it, but yeah, there's, it's fucking hot at the moment. There's the crack, so... It's sort of cracked right through to the top, which isn't good. Um, I think that's where it's leaking anyway. Like, I don't know much about these engines, but I'm gonna try and putty that up. And we'll see how it goes. All right, here's the stuff. If you meant to take it out, cut off what you want. I'm gonna cut about that much off. And uh, you knead it, and then you apply it to the thing. So we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. We're kneading, baby. So we're gonna knead this till it goes to one color. Laura's cooking. We're van lifing. All right, I'll get this done and then I'll come back to you. All right, here we go. I've got it all. It says to knead it till it goes all the same color, which I think it has. So now I'm gonna apply it. We'll see. I won't know until the morning if this is gonna work. But let's have a look. Sure, how you're supposed to. I'll take it, I've bitten off way too much. Well, good morning. It's uh, another day in the van, one of the first days, and uh, I actually just got up to a beautiful morning here in the van and uh, made myself a wee cup of tea. Making myself some uh, oats. Laura's there. She's just hiding outside the camera. Say hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Oh, douchebag. Uh, I've got the heater going, got the gas going. So, um, yeah, good times here in the morning. We're, um, hopefully, uh, we'll see if our fix has worked overnight on the manifold. And we're, we're heading to Chiliwack today. Um, there's a pickup part there. We need to get a spare wheel. For the, or maybe two spare wheels for the van. We're gonna try and start there anyway. We might have to end up buying them on uh, eBay, Craigslist, or Kijiji, or Facebook Marketplace. Um, and we decided for our security systems and a few other things, we might try and buy them on Amazon when we get back to Bowen Island, so. Um, yeah, fueling up again, as always. Gotta fuel the old engine up. She's a thirsty little drinker. And uh, yeah, gas heater's going, so. Not too bad this morning. There was a guy outside, parked outside all night, who we, we thought he was gassing himself because he had his fucking car running, but um, I think he might have just parked it up and had his car running to keep the heater going and he actually fell asleep. Anyway, eventually turned it off and he woke up this morning and the fucking car was running again. So I went out there thinking I was going to have to fucking smash the door open to a dead body. But nah, he woke up, freaked out and drove off, so that was all good. Yeah. Uh, what else can I tell you about the road? Well, yesterday, who did we go and see? Fucking Rust Valley Restorers themselves, the Rust Brothers. Old Mike, Avery, and Connor, I think it is. Um, they were hard case. They were absolute lads. Um, yeah, so that was awesome. That was fun. It was a pity we couldn't stay longer, actually, because uh, they were filming and they kind of like shuffled us out. Plus, they'd shut down the shop for the old Cougar 19. Um, yeah, so that was a bit dusty, but we got a photo and a bit of video, had a bit of a yarn, and then, yeah, he got out of there, so. Oh, yeah. We're actually filming the show while we're here. They're actually filming right there. That's what I thought. Yeah. Finish. Right, here's the bloody yard. I'm walking in. Fuck them. It's 
doing a full walkthrough. I'm just walking around the fucking front of the workshop here. Um, Nothing. It's different. There, okay. That's right. Can I just have a quick look? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So is this where they film and shit? Oh, uh, yeah. They, everything's in here. Um, like I said, we're keeping everybody out of the shop at this point. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. I read that on the um, website. Yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're trying our damnedest to try to keep... If one person gets sick, we've got to shut the whole production down. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm just from New Zealand, and I watched the show, so I just came and... Uh... Tony, take a quick pic, because we're like we're not letting fans in because yeah. of the virus and that's, shit. Yeah. That's all right. I got a picture. Right? right? I mean, right. I know I'm just here. Just here, stand in front of the sign. So yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. People <laughs> believe you were here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's on video. Don't fucking moment, breathe but... on me. I'll have to oh, come. Oh, yeah, it's on video. Come and hunt yeah. you down. That's it. <laughs> it's good. It's great. Where are you guys going, east or west? Oh, uh, we're heading back to Vancouver. Where are the speedos? Where's your speedos? Where the fuck's your speedos? <laughs> <laughs> How you going, man? No, I don't speedo. I, I breast stroke. Lots of practice. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> Video me. This is the moment of truth after the fix. So. I haven't. Oh, you better stop it. Maybe it's a wee bit better, but it's still pretty low. So it's probably got a gasket leak. That's right. We'll see how it goes. myself a bad thing. <laughs> I've hit the corner of the ferry on one of these little, I mean, yeah, I've hit the corner of the van on a little pole up on the rail up there. So, um, yeah, not good times. I've uh, dented the top of the van where we sleep. So I had another job added to the list. I'm a bit pissed off about it, but life goes on, I guess. Fuck it. Now I'm about to go up the fucking hill of death, so <laughs> Queenie, I'm not giving you All right, we're heading, we're on Bowen Island, we're about to go up Jane's farm, up the hill and I'm quietly shitting myself to be quite honest because it's very steep and we're in a very old bus and I've already crashed it once today I'm just going to go first gear, honey, and I'm just going to this is it here, isn't it?
on Queenie. Fucking hell. She's a fucking an hour driveway. This bit, I always thought this bit was the steepest. Come on, girl. Come on. Woohoo! We've done it. I think. Oh, is there any branches? We've done it. We've done it. I don't think we're going to hit that wire, are we? I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to park it out here. Holy shit balls, that was fucking nerve wracking. <laughs> Fuck me, I am freaking out. Woo! I'm going so cold. I know, that was crazy. <laughs> We've made it. It's seriously steep, seriously steep.